Until quite recently, most historians believed that William Wallace's father was Sir Malcolm Wallace of Eldersley, which is in Lanarkshire. Historians got these details from a huge poem written by a minstrel known as Blind Harry. But this poem was written about 150 years after Wallace died. And we would, I suppose, have continued to believe Blind Harry's story, but for a startling discovery. Something new was spotted about a very important wax seal attached to a very old letter. Now this letter was sent to the port of Lübeck on the Baltic Sea right after the victory of Stirling Bridge. It informed their merchants that Scotland's ports were open and ready to do business. Now in those days, seals were attached to letters to confirm who they were from. Incredibly, it was only in 1999 that somebody had the bright idea to turn the seal over and to everyone's surprise and delight, it turned out to be Wallace's personal seal. When it was translated from the Latin, it turned out to say William, son of Alan Wallace. This was new and exciting information. Wallace wasn't the son of Malcolm of Eldersley and he wasn't even the son of a knight. He was the son of plain Alan Wallace. To make things even more interesting, we have a reliable record of an Alan Wallace, a royal tenant in Ayrshire, living at that time. So we've completely revolutionised our thoughts about who William Wallace was.